today we're going to go through the presentation for the number rods. Once the child has mastered the red rods, we can introduce this presentation to the child. When the child's ready for this presentation, we collect the rods from the shelf by holding them close to our chest. We then bring them to the mat and we place the rods in a random order before we start the presentation. The number rods are used for the concrete to abstract learning of numbers one to 10. The first presentation that we do is that we start building the stair, which is the indirect preparation from the long rods. We always build um, from the bottom up and we build on the left hand side of the mat. This is one. This is two. One, two. One, two, three. This is three. This is four. One, two, three, four, five. This is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. So the next presentation is the three period lesson where you would start with the number rods one to three. And as a child masters these, you can move into the other numbers. This is one. One, two. This is two. One, two, three. This is three. Then you'd invite the child to do, can you show me three? Can you show me one? Can you show me two? And then the third lesson is what is? What is this block? What is this? And as they've mastered the three period lesson for the three, you would move on and introduce the other rods.